the Zululand District Municipality, the heart of the Zulu Kingdom. Zululand is named after the inhabitants of the area, the Zulus. Zulu means heaven in the Zulu language. Zululand, part of the province of KwaZulu-Natal, is peaceful with green hills of rich soil, waving grasslands, abundant forests, and an unhurried lifestyle. The main focus of the Zululand district is to create job opportunities to attract industrial and commercial business to the district and to further exploit the vast majority of tourism and agricultural opportunities that exist. The major towns of Freheid and Ulundi are both well located in relation to the national road and rail networks. Route P700 between Ulundi and Richards Bay is presently under construction and this will open up a major development corridor that will facilitate ecotourism, agricultural activities and business opportunities. Zululand borders on the Kingdom of Swaziland, which is a trading partner with South Africa. The Coal Line Corridor, which runs from Richards Bay through Ulundi, Freyheid and Paul Petersburg and on to the mining areas of Mpumalanga, is an important route in the national rail network. Freyheid is an active role player as Zululand's main commercial, industrial and business centre with a well-developed physical, social and institutional infrastructure. Ulundi is ideally situated for office, industrial, commercial and tourism development. It serves as a market for a million people in the region. Ulundi lists as positive investment potential, a large and stable labor force, steady political environment, low crime rate, competitive land prices and service charges, accessibility to export markets via Richards Bay, accessibility to the rest of South Africa, a good local infrastructure, access to excellent educational facilities, recreation and sports amenities, and good hotels as well as conference areas. The municipality has embarked on a strategy to revitalize the Prince Mangasutu Butelezi Airport and reintroduce regular scheduled flights between Durban, Pietermaritzburg and Ulundi and between Ulundi and Gauteng. Pongola, Paul Petersburg and Nongoma are smaller towns which act as service centers. The village of Lunenburg is the site of the original settlement of German Lutheran missionaries and has the oldest German school in northern KwaZulu-Natal. Agriculture provides the economic base of the area and agricultural opportunities are diverse. These range from commercial sugarcane and wattle farming to livestock farming and small-scale agricultural production. Products farmed are maize, groundnuts, soya beans, sunflowers and sorghum as well as subtropical fruit. In many places, game farming is replacing beef. Many private game farms, hunting lodges and photographic safaris operate here. The traditional medicine market is huge in Zululand. Tons of wildlife products, mainly plants, bark and tubers are sold at the Mona traditional market which is held the third week of every month outside Nongo. The products are transported to markets in Durban, Johannesburg, Malawi, Botswana, Mozambique and Swaziland. The Department of Land Affairs has introduced the Land Redistribution for Agricultural Development Program. Some labor tenants could be assisted through this program to develop into medium-scale farmers. Manufacturing includes food and beverages, clothing and textiles, leather, paper and paper products, printing and publishing, metal products, machinery and equipment. The beneficiation of primary products offers many possibilities. The legendary Valpre Spring Water Farm is situated in an unpolluted area of Zululand. The use of pesticides or chemicals is forbidden on the farm and every precaution is taken to ensure that the natural water is untouched by man during the bottling process. Nungoma is the royal city of Zululand, which is the home of King Goodwill Zwelatini, who is the hereditary leader of the Zulu nation. Some of the royal palaces are among the main tourist attractions in the area. Zululand boasts a wide range of markets, craft shops and galleries selling the finest Zulu crafts. The Guazulu Cultural Museum houses interesting displays relating to Zulu history and archaeology. Every September, thousands of people visit one of King Zulatini's royal residences at Nongoma. 
Here, young Zulu maidens take part in a colorful cultural festival, the Zulu Royal Reed Dance. The mystical Valley of the Kings, Emakosini, was the home of several Zulu clans and the birthplace of Shaga. The valley is now part of the Emakosini Opate Heritage Park, where the spirit of Emakosini Memorial has been erected in honor of the Zulu kings whose graves lie here. A number of battle sites are also preserved at Emakosini. One can recapture the atmosphere of the past by visiting the site of the Battle of Blood River and various other battlefields on the battlefield's route. The prestigious multimedia center at Mkungunjovu is a joint public-private sector project that aims to preserve the culture and history of the Zulu people. Tlhuwe Mfolozi Park, the largest of KwaZulu-Natal's reserves, is famous for its rhino conservation program and Big Five sightings. The popular Itala Game Reserve offers an extraordinary experience of geological diversity as the rock formations found here date back 3,000 million years. The Pongola Game Reserve, the second oldest reserve in the world, is a cooperative conservation project between private landowners, tribal communities and government conservation services. Allied to this project, the Space for Elephant Foundation has been formed to realize the goal of a biosphere large enough to viably sustain a population of a thousand elephants and allow the re-establishment of the ancient elephant migration routes. A number of smaller private reserves such as Amakosi, Vubu and White Elephant provide unforgettable bush experiences. The Zululand Birding Route offers forest, grassland, wetland, bushveld, mountains, estuarine, coastline, and open ocean habitats, making this Southern Africa's most diverse area for birding. The Clipfontaine Bird Sanctuary is a perfect example of what can be done when treated sewerage water is channeled and dammed into degraded grassland. The resulting reed and rush bed provides a safe refuge for a number of rare wild water birds. A Zulu cultural center is currently being built at the dam. Accommodation as well as a restaurant is planned for those who want to experience life in a traditional Zulu village. Sport activities in Pongola Port Dam include tiger fishing and hot air ballooning. Zululand is also the venue for motor rallies and an annual marathon. The waters below the Bivane Dam are ideal for rafting and canoeing and make an exciting start to the annual Itala Canoe Challenge. In contrast, enjoy the invigorating and healing qualities of hot mineral waters to be found at the Natal Spa Hot Springs Resort and Conference Center and at Tangami Spa. Zululand offers many opportunities for investment, focusing on the Pongola Port Dam development, the P700 from Ulundi to the Sengeni Gate and the development in Emakosini Valley. Come and visit the heart of the Zulu Kingdom. It's time to invest in our future.